Hey everybody, it's P-Dubs. Thanks as always for hanging out upstairs with us and for checking out the channel. And on today's episode, we're going to do a walkthrough tutorial on how to set up a vertical only build for your At Games Legends Arcade family of products using a brand new build called Whopper, W-O-P-R, from the Chefs of Sauce team. Big shout out to those guys for constantly putting in hours and hours of work, putting together these amazing builds for us to play on our At Games products. Couple things you're gonna need to get started is you are going to need your add-on X tool. If you don't have this, I'll have a link to it in the video description below where you can download this tool. You're also gonna need a seven zip tool, an extraction tool. I'll have a link to that as well in the video description below. And of course, you're gonna need a thumb drive. We do have a thumb drive plugged in currently. Now this CoinOps X vertical only build, vertical only games. Um, is, is a very small build. It's less than 13 gigabytes. So technically, because this is a standalone build, you're going you're gonna to want to have it on a standalone uh, flash drive, not the same flash drive you probably have your horizontal games on, um, your, like your CoinOps X 4.5 or 5.0 builds. You're going to want this on its own flash drive. And because it's so small and we only need to have room for this, plus maybe your pinball games, um, as well as your uh, BitPixel software and things like that. I have a 64 gigabyte drive plugged in currently. The first thing you're going to want to do, of course, is once your drive is plugged in, is locate it, and you're going to want to format it. And of course, you don't want to do NTFS, you want to do XFAT. And let's go ahead and click Start. It'll say yes. And boom, format is complete. So that, that's step number one. Now, step number two... Okay, guys, time for step number two. What you want to do is, uh, we're still working on that USB flash drive, is uh, head on to your start bar here on your Windows PC and start typing in the words disk management. And when you do that, uh, the create and format hard disk partitions window will pop up. It says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? You click yes, and boom, it'll pop up. So this shows you all the hard drives on your computer. You want to be very careful here that you don't screw up the uh, your main computer. If you accidentally delete this stuff, you're going to destroy your PC. You want to make sure you select your individual um, thumb drive, which it'll be on the bottom of the list right here. It'll say the word removable, right? So this is our thumb drive, 64 gigabytes, but of course it's a little bit less. And what you want to do here, of course, is right click on it and delete the volume. We want to get rid of this thing completely. And also it says deleting this will erase all data on it. Blah, blah, blah. Do you want to continue? Let's click yes. And boom, it's gone. So the entire thing is unallocated. Formatting at the beginning is kind of redundant, but I just do it out of old habit, etc. What we want to do here is we want to create a new simple volume. And what we want to do here is it'll say, do you want to create a new volume? We want to click on next. And we want our first uh, volume here to be 16,384 in order to create a 16 gigabyte partition on this particular flash drive. That'll give us enough space on this flash drive for our flash drive X. And as you guys are aware with At Games products, the flash drive X is where all of the, um, the pinball games will get installed. Your coin ops uh, uh, application will get installed as well as your BitPixel information, all that will get installed on this drive on the, uh, on, the, on, the, on the flash drive. You can go ahead and assign it any letter you want. Let's just go ahead and pick F, and we're going to click Next. And then on when it asks us what file system do we want to use for this one, guys, you want to make sure you pick FAT32. You can even label it if you would like. So you could type in flash drive X if you want and then click next it says double check that you get everything set up correctly and then click finish and boom we got our flash drive X flash drive okay so for step number three we want to take the rest of this flash drive that's been unallocated and we want to make sure that this particular part of the flash drive is going to be used uh, for the games, for that Flash Drive X build that you downloaded off of the internet. So we're going to right click on it. We're going to click on New Simple Volume. It'll say Welcome to the Wizard. And how much space do you want to use? Well, you want to use the rest of the space available on the Flash Drive. So whatever this defaults to, you click on Next. 
It'll say, do you want to assign it a letter? You could pick any letter you want. Uh, since I have the OneDrive labeled F, let's go G. That way we keep things in order. And we're going to click Next. And it says, how do you want to format this? Well, this one, guys, you're going to want to select X Fat. And then you can label it as well. So in this case, I'm going to type in Whopper. So I remember that this is the CoinOps X Whopper build on this flash drive. Click on Next. Click on Finish. And boom, guys, your flash drive is set up. So the flash drive is ready to go. Let's take a look at what we downloaded off the internet. Okay, guys, we are on to step number four. So for this particular step, what you want to do is you want to take your CoinOps X Whopper vertical build that you downloaded off the internet, comes over as a zip file. This is it right here, and I placed it in a folder labeled Whopper. Uh, that way, the only thing in this folder is that CoinOpsX zip file plus this update file that came over with it as well. What you want to do on it, and this is where you need your 7-zip tool, is you want to click on 7-zip and you want to head over and you just want to extract everything right here and let it run. And because we are unzipping about 12, 13 gigabytes of data, it's going to take just a couple of minutes to get done. So let's go ahead and let that run and we'll be right back here once it finishes unzipping. Okay guys, we are back and it only took about five minutes or so and it extracted all the files and when it extracts them, it creates a brand new folder right here with all these different subfolders. What you want to do is make sure that these subfolders are open just like this. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and pin that there and we're going to go ahead now and we are going to find our flash drive because we need to get these files onto our flash drive, but we gotta make sure we put them in the right space, right? So if you guys remember, we labeled our flash drive. Uh, we put the two drives on our flash drive. We had uh, flash drive X is uh, for the at game software uh, that the, uh, what at games the arcade machine is going to install on the flash drive. And Whopper, W-O-P-R, this is where we want all of these files. So let's go ahead and open this up. We're just going to select them all. And we're just going to hold, drag, and drop. And it'll copy everything over. And it should only take about, let's say, another five minutes, depending on your computer speed, to get everything copied over because this is only about 13 gigabytes of data. Again, we're not looking at a massive build. We'll be right back when it finishes copying. Okay, guys, we are back. And as you can see, all of the files uh, for the Whopper sauce edition have been copied over to our usb flash drive our next step of course is to run our add on x tool and that'll get this particular build up and running now shortly after i started working on this video the CoinOps x team released another build it's called the whopper with cheese build and that particular build has an additional four gigabytes of data in a separate zip file that includes some fixes for some artwork for some games, as well as some additional games that can be added and things like that. Uh, I unfortunately haven't downloaded that yet, but I plan on it. If you want to know how to get those fixes up and running on your flash drive, etc., because you could do that at any time. You don't have to do it right now, but you could do that at any time. Apply the cheese updates. Uh, I'll have links to Wagner's Tech Talk as well as his website below that gives you the steps on how to do that. But for just the basic build here, we're going to want to open up our add-on X tool. Again, I'll have a link in the video description below if you need to get this downloaded. Once you open it up, it says uh, select what drive you want to use. And again, we want to run it against the Whopper build. That's the name of this build. So we're going to click on that. We're going to click on OK. It's the G build. And we're going to hit build. And we're going to let it run. And this will take about 30 minutes. You'll notice it created a new folder called Add-on X, and it's putting together all the appropriate Add-on X files for all the different games in this build. That way they can run on your At Games Legends Ultimate Arcade Machine, Pinball Machine, uh, Legends Core Hockey Pucks, Gamer Core Hockey Pucks, Legends Ultimate Mini, all that kinds of stuff. So it's going to get everything built for us. It's going to take about 28 minutes. I'm going to let it run, and we'll be right back. And boom, it's done. Make sure that, guys, uh, when it finishes, it says done. It doesn't have any errors. It doesn't say it failed. It took my computer 15 minutes to run it. 
If you see something where it said it failed or something of that nature, you're going to want to run it again until it goes through, etc, etc, etc. But at this point, you're done. You have everything set up. It's time to plug this into the arcade machine. Okay, ladies and germs, we are over on our Legends Ultimate Mini. We do have it in vertical mode because, again, this is a vertical-only build. We're going to show you what this looks like on this particular cabinet, as well as we'll show you what it looks like on the Legends Pinball Machine. All you got to do is take that flash drive that you safely ejected from your computer, go ahead and plug it into your arcade machine. Make sure the USB icon on the top right next to the Wi-Fi or Internet icon is solid, that it's no longer blinking. Once it's solid, go ahead and navigate to the settings menu, scroll to the appropriate page where you see the flash drive X tile. Once you see the flash drive X tile, you're gonna go ahead and click on format. Remember, we made two partitions on our flash drive. The second partition has all the Whopper build and games. The first partition is this flash drive X, the at game software that we need to get installed on that first flash drive. All you gotta do is hit format, yes, and it'll format it, gets everything installed, and then you go ahead and you click on mount, and boom, we are formatted, flash drive X, mount successful. Once it's mounted, you could go ahead and back out of this, and what you wanna do is you wanna head over, head on up to App Store X. Once you're in App Store X, just navigate to the page where you see the CoinOps X tile, and once you see that CoinOps X tile, you're just gonna click on that, and just like Flash Drive X, it's just going to, you click start, and it, if it's not on there already, it's going to ask you to install CoinOps X. So we're going to go ahead and take a look down here. All you got to do is click on a select. What do you want to do? You want to go ahead and click on install and let it install CoinOps X. Once it finishes installing CoinOps X, technically you are ready to go. You are ready to play some games on your machine. However, keep in mind, there's a good chance that the first time you try to launch it, after installing, it's going to crash on you. And if that happens, simply power your arcade machine on and off and turn it back on. See how it crashed? Power your arcade or your pinball machine on and off, turn it back on, go to CoinOps X, and launch CoinOps X, and guess what? It's going to work. Once it launches, usually after a power cycle, you'll see that beautiful CoinOps interface, and we have everything in vertical mode. Well done by the chefs of sauce here. Got over 700 vertical games that you could play on your Legends Pinball Machine, your Legends Gamer Mini, your uh, Legends uh, Gamer Pro with those hockey pucks. Probably need a USB hub for those. You're, you could even put these on the arcade machines, but why would you? The screen's not in vertical mode unless you're using the Legends Ultimate Mini, such as this one. As you can see, 716 games in the basic build without the extra cheese. What I absolutely love about this vertical build is all the games are in their proper aspect ratios. They're not stretched, as well as the CoinOps X team did a fantastic job of adding artwork on the top and bottom. You do have the marquees for the particular games, as well as artwork on the bottom. So the top and bottom bezel artworks look fantastic. I love how on the bottom you have kind of like what the control deck of the arcade machine was, as well as, of course, the marquee for the game on the top. Well done. And of course, this build is compatible with your Bitpixel HV marquee for your At Games Legends pinball machine, as well as your Bitpixel LED marquees that come with the arcade, well, that you could purchase for the arcade machines as well. As you saw there, we did have the Mappy logo displaying. You simply just follow my other tutorials about installing Pixel Kate X and getting that up and running. Overall, take a look at how good this looks on the pinball machine. This looks sexy as hell and you have 700 games to choose from. This is fantastic. Want to know what you guys think, though? Leave me your thoughts and reactions below. Hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial. Give us a thumbs up on the way out, and thank you for subscribing.